Welcome to the video overview of the popular ESD generators used in pre-certification and compliance testing for electrostatic immunity. These units are designed to meet or surpass voltage levels described in the CE Mark Standard IEC 61000-4-2, North American Standard ANSI C63, as well as some military and transportation standards like DO-160 Section 25. We'll cover accessories, physical characteristics, and mobility around the ESD test table. The TESEC NSG435 is the most popular ESD generator known to man. As we break into the package, you'll find a tripod mount. We'll set up and cover that later. The remaining accessories are typical among all ESD generators, allowing you to set up and begin testing in either air or contact discharge mode. The AC adapter, this battery pack, a ground cable, which I pulled out earlier, contact tip, and this air discharge tip. The Keytech Mini Zap by Thermo Fisher is also a popular unit. It does require a manual adjustment to switch between polarities, whereas the other ESD guns have this as a programmed option with auto switching. With two knobs and three push buttons, it has a learning curve of about two seconds. Run through the standard accessories, ground cable, AC adapter, In addition to the standard air and contact tips, the mini zap will include the fast rise time tips for both air and contact discharge. Other unique accessories include a standoff spacer for air discharge and the self discharge tip to simulate radiated ESD. The supplied strap allows for lightweight and easy transport. The unique standard accessory for the EMC Partner ESD3000 pistol is an interconnect cable for PC use. These are add-on accessories for most of the other models. Plugged into the bottom of the pistol's battery pack, which consists of rechargeable AA batteries. The ESD3000 is the only early generation model to have an easily interchangeable discharge network to allow for other applications like human body model and machine model ESD testing. The Hafley Onyx, an ESD model released in recent years with plug and play tips and two battery packs, as well as easily interchangeable discharge networks found on the side of the pistol. A 30 kV version, the Onyx 30, is available in the same package, both models of which have an LED light located at the tip of the pistol. The 3C test model chassis is near the same of the Hafley Onyx, with a more ruggedized exterior, same style of easily interchangeable RC module, and has voltage capabilities of up to 18,000 volts, surpassing the 16 kV of the Onyx NSG435 and ESD3000, and the 15,000 volts uh, discharged by the Keytech Mini Zap. As we put each unit on the scale, you'll see the Onyx and 3C tests both come in at 3 pounds, 13 ounces. And the remaining units, even lighter, all are ready to go with batteries and tip installed. Here is the NSG-435, mounted on a tripod as promised. As we place a 10 centimeter spacer between the DUT and edge of the coupling plane, you'll see what kind of clearance we have with a small electronic device. The tripod mount gives us clearance from the tripod as well as the table's edge. The Keytech Mini Zap is well suited for tripod mounting, giving us plenty of space with no trigger clearance issues as the discharges are driven from the buttons on top of the unit. Note an easy 15 centimeters of clearance. The large handle and lack of a tripod mount comparable to that of the NSG-435 makes maneuvering the Onyx challenging on our shorter DUT. We can rise it up and as we jokingly zap our $10,000 oscilloscope, you'll notice the clearance is not as much of an issue. However, we can still be limited by the presence of the tripod. Let's go over maneuver to help with gun placement. Note the EMC partner has a 3 16th jack, whereas a tripod bolt is a quarter inch. We drill a couple of holes into a piece of plywood, mount one end of our plywood to the ESD3000 pistol using an M5.08 thread size screw and mount it to our tripod and you can see what kind of clearance 
and easy maneuverability we now have. Click on the thumbnail of any particular model to jump to the how-to video.